Thank you so much. And I'd like to start by thanking the organizers of this event for allowing me to finally talk about Google Analytics Premium publicly. This is, I think, the first time that we talk about the product that I'm responsible for and publicly in such a big crowd. So thank you so much. And can we switch my presentation, please? So let me start talking while the presentation gets set up. We're very happy with how well Google Analytics, the free version, is working. And we have found that a lot of people are using it in big sites, small sites, and it's for the most part working very well for them. And we attribute that to two main reasons. The first reason is that Google Analytics was designed for it to be used across organizations. And that's one main differentiator between Google Analytics and other analytics tools. We don't design for the analyst or for the number cruncher or for any particular function. We design for anyone within an organization that wants to make data-driven decisions. And I think that that reflects throughout the product. And we have gotten great feedback from doing that. The other main, main thing about Google Analytics is that it's very robust. The reports that you get by using it are actionable and useful. So it's not surprising to us that we have gotten a large amount of adoption. But historically, one area in which we have not been as strong has been large enterprises. And the reason for that is that large enterprises have very unique needs. They have needs around people. They want to make sure that they have a good implementation and that their setup is the right one. They also have needs around volume. They want to send us a lot of hits. They want to get unsampled reports. And also, they want to make sure that the service is going to be working properly. They want guarantees. And the free version of Google Analytics was not in a position to offer any of that. And that's why, in response to client feedback, we came up with Google Analytics Premium. And Google Analytics Premium, simply put, is the most robust offering that we have come up with as part of Google Analytics. And it has four key components that I'm going to talk about briefly right now and then I'm going to elaborate a little bit on. The first component is processing power. We have a dedicated pipeline that is solely for the use of our Google Analytics Premium clients. And as a result of that, we can offer things that we cannot offer for the free product. We can offer a larger hit volume support. We can offer more freshness, so we can guarantee that the data is going to be fresh and people are going to be able to make decisions quickly based on what they get out of analytics. We can offer unsampled reports, which for large enterprises is, terrific, is extremely important. A second component is advanced analysis tools. So while we're very much committed to the free product, and we have launched uh, a number of features over the last few weeks even that are going to be available for everyone, real time being one of those, there are things that necessitate this processing pipeline and that necessitate robust implementations. And those features we are going to be making premium only. And I'm going to be talking about a few right now. And there are definitely more coming down the pipeline. A third component that is extremely important, arguably it's the most important one of them all, is the level of support that we're able to provide as part of Google Analytics Premium. We want to make sure that whenever you have an issue, there's a person that you can talk to. We want to make sure that you get help with the implementation. We want to make sure that you get training support. All those things we are able to offer as part of the Google Analytics Premium package. And last but not least, although we think that our product is extremely robust, people wanted guarantees in writing. They wanted to make sure that there's going to be SLAs, service level agreements, that we're going to be committing ourselves to in terms of collection of time, in terms of reporting of time, and in terms of freshness. So it's a combination of these four elements, all of which are extremely important, that make up Google Analytics Premium, which we launched a couple of weeks ago. And we offer it for one flat fee of $150,000 per year in the US and Canada, and 90,000 pounds in the UK. So although we launched Google Analytics Premium only a couple of weeks ago, we have been piloting this for a little less than a year. And we have a lot of satisfied clients using Google Analytics Premium. These include Travelocity, Gucci, and Papa John's, as you can see, artistically rendered with this gnome that's holding a pizza and a handbag. <laughs> and we have quite a few more, but of course, not all of them want to say publicly that they're using Google Analytics Premium, even though the feedback that we have gotten from all of them has been extremely positive. 
So let me talk a little bit more about what makes Google Analytics premium. I, I went through it very quickly, and I think that it's worthwhile to talk about it in a little bit more detail. I think that the most important component is the level of support that you get as part of Google Analytics premium. And this is something that was made very clear to us during the pilot phase and even before that. People wanted help. <coughs> and people wanted help not just at the beginning when it came to implementation, but they wanted help throughout. So there's four components to the level of support that we provide as part of Google Analytics Premium. The first one is implementation. So if a client gets Google Analytics Premium, they get an implementation, an implementation guide. It's a, a pretty sizable document that not only explains what they need to put on their site, but really goes back to what problems a client is trying to solve. So the implementation specialist is going to engage with the client. They're going to find out what business what business issues they're trying to solve by using analytics, which should be the part, by the way, of any, any analytics-related discussion. It should be the first question to be asked. And, and based on that conversation, um, this guide is written that very thoroughly explains um, how Google Analytics ought to be implemented on the site. Second component is training. Like I mentioned before, we take pride in the fact that Google Analytics, whether it be the free version or the paid version, is very easy to use. But at the same time, we, we acknowledge that for it to be used to its full potential, it's, it's best if somebody explains the people within an organization. And again, this is not just the analyst or any particular function, but the people throughout the organization, how the product is best used and how to take advantage of it. So training is definitely an important part of the package. And third component is account management. And Shauna Gary is here with us. And she is one of the excellent account managers that we have with Google Analytics Premium. And basically, their, their role is to be the, the liaison between Google Analytics and the client. So if any business questions arise, or for that matter, any questions at all arise regarding Google Analytics and how it's working or not working for a, for a given client, they have an account, management, an account manager that they know by name. And that account manager can answer the questions that they have about the, about the product. And finally, of course, there's the 24 level support, sorry, the 24 seven support that you would expect from any kind of enterprise level level solution. So if anything is breaking, we will fix it or we will address it at least um, in a whether it's day or night. And if it's more of a question about how something works and whatnot, we still have pretty solid guarantees around response times. Another important component that I mentioned before that I want to talk a little bit more about are service level agreements. So we, we want to have guarantees about how well the service is going to work for you. And we divide, divide those into three components. The first one is collection, meaning that when you send Google Analytics Premium a hit, we want to make sure that that hit is going to be captured. That's tremendously important. I mean, you can, you can show beautiful reports, but if they don't use all the data, then those reports are not really that useful. So we have pretty aggressive guarantees when it comes to collection at time. We guarantee that we're going to be collecting data 99.9% .9 of the time, which if you do the math, it means that we can only allow ourselves not to be collecting data about 45 minutes every month. This is tremendously aggressive, even within the realm of enterprise, and we're happy to be able to offer this. The second component is reporting. And for reporting, our, our SLA is also quite aggressive, 99% of the time. So um, pretty much all the time, you can go to Google Analytics Premium and get the reports that you're counting on um, as part of the analytics implementation that you have. And finally, there's freshness. And freshness is one area in which there is an, an important difference between the paid product and the free product. The guidance that we have gotten from enterprises is that they need to make decisions quickly. And they need to make decisions based on the latest data. So for our premium clients, we have an SLA of having our data be, at the most time, four hours and lag. And usually, it's much less than that. It's usually two hours. But the SLA is four hours, 98% of the time. And again, for, for especially for enterprise clients, this makes a huge difference because they, they need to make decisions based on, based on the latest data for it to be really actionable. Another important difference between the standard product and the paid product is hit limits. So for the standard product, we have a hit limit of 10 million hits per month, which is extremely generous. And we believe that for, for most small and medium-sized um, sites, that is, that is more than sufficient. And in fact, um, we have numbers internally that, that show that that is the case. However, we are, we're at the same time well aware that when it comes to large enterprises, um, 
their head volume is just larger. And they wanted us to offer something that can account for that larger head volume. So for premium, we can offer up to 1 billion hits per month for the $150,000 prize that I quoted before. If, if you compare Google Analytics Premium versus any other tools, um, this is a lot. This is a big deal. Um, so <laughs> if you were to use other paid tools for one billion hits per month, that, that will cost you way more than $150,000 per, per year. Um, and we're doing this because we do not want to be penalizing businesses for their growth. We don't want for, the, for, the fact, for them to feel bad about the fact that they're getting more page views or more hits. That is something that should elicit a celebration, not concerns about whether they're going to be able to pay their analytics bill at the end of the month based on the, on the traffic that they're getting. So we, we on purpose, over-provision in, in when it comes to hit volume so that businesses can grow without worrying about um, that affecting their financials when it comes to analytics. If for some reason you work with a client that finds one billion hits per month not to be sufficient, and there are only a very, very few of those around, and we can definitely talk about that will change the financials of the deal. And last but not least, um, just as it, as it is very important to be able to get data in, it's also important to get data out. Um, and for large clients, this means being able to get lots of data out. So for premium clients, we offer what we call end sample reports. So for most reports where they see sampling using the free version, they have the option of clicking on a link and getting that same report and sampled. These reports right now can have up to one million rows. That's, that's a huge number. And we're still looking for ways to make that number even bigger so that they really get all the data um, in the head, in the long tail, and everywhere in between that they need in order to be able to make um, good data driven decisions. So that is Google Analytics Premium in a nutshell. And I'm sure that this will elicit a lot of questions. But one thing that I want to restate here is that my job as the PM responsible for Google Analytics Premium is not to make the free version suck. My job is to make sure that I address the needs of enterprises, but my team is fully committed on the standard product as well. And as you have probably seen over the last few weeks, we, we have launched a number of features real time, and I cannot pre-announce any more features right now, but I can guarantee you that there's a lot of cool stuff coming that will apply to the free product and to the paid product. Our philosophy is that we want for all websites to be able to avail the value of Google Analytics. In the case of enterprises, that means that they have extra needs that we cannot meet with a free product. So that's why we came up with premium. But we're fully committed to the free version and we're definitely gonna be launching a whole bunch of cool stuff for the free version as well. So with that, I'll pass it to Evan. But again, I'd be more than happy to answer any questions during the panel session.